Welcome back to another episode of Slime World Podcast. I'm Lil Boy Rock. I'm here. I'm Solo. And you're in for another episode that's going to be out this world. Let's go. All right. So basically, you know what I'm saying? Off camera, what we was talking about was the fact that you think people don't give a fuck about what side of the city. Damn, I got to stop cursing. Got to work on it. Uh, people don't care what side of the city that you're on. No matter where you're from. Yeah. That's your argument. Yeah. I'm saying on some rap type of, you feel me, wave, you feel me? Like, you got to understand that when you repping, you you pick a side of the city, you pick a side of from wherever you're from, and you rep that on some rap type of wave, you feel me? Like, people care in the rap community, but not, not the okay, regular so civilians. No, this is, so this is what I'm saying. Expand, expound on that. Why would a civilian care? No, yo, if I come from the suburbs or I come from a metropolitan area, I don't care about what rapper is from where. All I care about is this song on the radio and is this busting right now. I'm not worried about what side of the city, what block, what whatever you for me. But if I'm a rap nigga, if I'm really like in that rap shit, bro, I'm about to be like, Oh, wait, what side of the city you come from? No matter where you come from, I'm going to ask where you... Because I care about that shit. Because I'm going to be like, oh, you you must be where from so-and-so and so is from. Like, as a rapper, like, it's your job to know where but, people... What, what side of the city people are from and where they come from. Like, the first thing, as a rapper, I say, you, you put me on a new artist right now, I'm going to be like, where he from? I don't care about nothing before you tell me about where he from. Oh, you don't know? If I damn near don't even care. Artist from Chicago? No, anywhere. But if I say, if I say, uh, it, this artist is from the South Side of Cleveland, what does that mean to you? It means nothing, cause there's no, cause I would already put two and two together that there's not many rappers in Cleveland, there's not many rappers in Ohio, so I don't even care about this rapper off rip. I don't even care. What does he have to anything? What well, you gonna tell me nah, that you don't? Changing the point. You just told me that. You just told me. The the thing that I'm saying is, why would I care about where he's from? Mm-hmm. Because when I hear where he's from, it makes it helps me make an assessment if I should care about this artist anymore. But where were you going? What 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 did you, what answer did you expect that was going to come out of his mouth? What I'm saying is what he. No, nah, what answer would you? What answer? Oh, what did I expect you were going to say? Yeah, what answer was that? Oh, they know they probably be with them and them. But you just gave me an area. You didn't say. You didn't yeah, say. Just because you, you didn't don't say know what I'm talking about. Just you didn't say Compton. Just because you don't know the area. To my point, bro. The you only don't care. look, bro. The only oh, rapper. Oh, no, bro. There. Check it out, bro. The only rappers to come out of Cleveland is Kid Cudi and Trippy Red. So keep. So enlighten me. Who Who are you talking about? The point is the point. If I said nah, but this just, artist, if I asked you what artist is this from, and I said Chicago, all of a sudden now you care what side of Chicago he's no, from. No, bro, you just told but me. But if I say he's from bro, Cleveland, you, you, just said, you don't you just care said, what side of Cleveland you just, Bro, bro, Trippy Red literally says I'm from Cleveland. He does not talk about a side. What does he say? I'm from 1400 block, right? That's it. That's all I know about Cleveland. Kid Cudi is not a gangbanger, bro. I don't know nothing about okay, Kid Cudi's block, okay, bro. Okay, okay, That's okay. it, bro. I'm not going to say Southside Cleveland. Well, I heard that the so so was like, no, nigga. If you said, oh, so I'm from, from 1400, so if, I, nigga, so if I said, Trippy Red, nigga. If I said a rapper is from Atlanta. What's up? Why? So I can know who he be with. What? Where? <laughs> what's his influence from? <laughs> Who did he care? Who did he listen to when he was growing up? Hey, yeah, that shit don't mean nothing. To bro. a civilian from the rec- from the no, metropolitan nigga. area, bro. No, nigga. Hey, dude, bro. So hey, dude. Like, you talking about a staple? Like you talking about? Like, bro. We talking about staple areas, bro. If you gonna talk about Atlanta, you gonna talk about Chicago, you gonna talk about New York, you gonna talk about LA. It matters where they from, bro. You, you know, talk about you anywhere know, else. Different. You know what I'm trying to say? Is the question of who they be with? Is that's the question? The question of where they from is not... Bro, no, 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 bro, bro. That's your question. You asked me why I care about the place that they're from. I told you I care because I want to know who they be with, what's, what's influenced them, what they looked up to. I'm assessing all of this in this question of where are they from. 
You're telling me you only care about one element. Nigga, that's why you don't give a fuck about where they're from. So, so uh, do, you, do you think it's because of... It's politics. Like, nigga, of course it's politics. Nigga, ain't so, nobody defending so, or so, uh, uh, denying. Yeah, facts. So you're saying, at the end of the day, if you're a rapper, politics are involved with those major cities that... Look, I'm not saying that. You're saying that. You're but making saying, all these conclusions. I, but, but you're saying... I'm, I'm you're letting saying, you know what... I'm letting you know. You ask me a simple question, I give you a simple answer. You looking deep diving into it. But you're talking about politics. It's, it's, it's trying to find the significance of the reasons why you say, oh, who they be with, who they look right. up to, what, so well, who they... Bro, yeah, yeah, bro. You, you talking about the politics in play, you talking uh-huh. about this, you talking about this, you can, we, can deep, we can deep dive as far as you want to go. You said, but rappers, I said, like, you said rappers care about it, but civilians don't. Rappers care about it. Rappers, bro, rappers could care about it. It doesn't necessarily matter about the politics. That's just one, that's one angle to look at it. So I'm saying, like, if you want to go in and say it's all about politics, that's on you. I'm not saying that. I'm trying to figure out the root. I'm trying to figure out uh, the root cause. But a nigga that... What's, what's the major... What's the... When, when you talk about being a rapper, what is the major thing of saying, oh, I'm trying to figure out who they be with, this, that, and a third, but you can't get down to the major core of why you saying this? Because, my nigga... That's not my job. That's your job. But I'm that's not my ask, job. That's his job. But I'm saying so. But what, what that's not my job. That's not my job. What is the relevance? Doesn't mean, doesn't mean, it doesn't mean anything. That's not my job, bro. <laughs> so what is the relevance of it? With the if, relevance, if, if if you're saying if you have that if you have that answer, what is the relevance of what are you what are you trying to what are you trying to state? You feel me? Also, can you fix that? Because you just put it over. Like what are you trying to but say? Any, all right, so now this is my this is this is my this, this is what curious. really caused this topic, right? Bro. Is wait, wait, let me let me speak. Let me speak. Is this this interaction right here? Am I still on camera, bro? Yeah. Hey. Oh. Hey, I'm Walk the Bam. What's your name? Walk the Bam. Oh, what side of the city are you from? West. Ah, oh, cool. Bro. Blah, 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 blah. Y'all got a real None, on, that bro. that information on, means nothing unless niggas will say I'm from the I'm from the east side and niggas be like oh do you know who them do you know this person do you know that person yeah I know that person oh yeah I know that person too cool bro end of conversation first of all my nigga no meaning to any of it y'all really breaking this shit down from y'all perspective and that's where y'all is coming in it's not from far. my perspective it's Yo, from observation com- it's from observing it's not an it's observation from- for me. It, okay, explain the utility of, of it. If you were going to explain Nigga, that, then there right, is bro, no, there's look, no back and forth. You, you asked me a simple question. I gave a simple answer. He's trying to deep dive. You trying to assess why is niggas thinking like this. Yo, that's the job of niggas from the metropolitan area to understand why the fuck should I give a fuck? And then, yo, if I don't give a fuck, why the fuck do you give a fuck? I wanna, I wanna really, I wanna really assess this. I really wanna understand why you think like this. It's like, bro, that's your job. Wait, wait, wait. You said you don't give a fuck. No, no. I said anybody from the metropolitan area, anybody from the suburbs, doesn't give a fuck. So off rip, you're already having the. My nigga, if I tell you why a rapper would think like this, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you ugly as hell. Boy. Your ass look like fucking bull bull. What's <laughs> wrong with you, nigga? Anyway, look, bro. Oh, if if anybody, if somebody is in a uh, if a rapper, right, uh huh, tells you information, assesses the information from the perspective of a rapper, and then somebody from the metropolitan area, somebody from the suburbs, wants to break down that question. You already said I don't give a fuck about this shit. So one, it does not apply to you. So now you are trying to figure out why the fuck does it matter to you. No rap nigga is figuring out why the fuck it matters to him. That's you trying. That's why I keep saying that, nigga. It's so not my job. It's your job. But you know what I'm literally hearing as you're saying that? None of it means <laughs> shit. So why the fuck is like 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 oh, like, oh, like, 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 Look, look, nigga, if you go into the hood right now, you go ask the streets why they do half of the shit that they do, and you from the metropolitan area, nigga, figure it out. You're not going to get the runaround, ain't you? That's why do you niggas be caring if a nigga snitch on him? He helped the police. No, he helped his, no, no, he helped no, no, talk, no, no, he helped no, talk no, murder. No, no, nigga, what are you talking about? No, nigga, from the streets, no, no, I don't do that shit. No, 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 
no, what is that? It's the same shit. It's the same no, conversation. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Like a stop it. Because bro. in all those scenarios, there is a explanation for why niggas do shit. Now that explanation can be determined: is it stupid or is it not? From a metropolitan person. But what I'm saying is, if if that explanation is not there, then it does not. Then you're basically like, saying, how, how's, how's that, that not like, sound the same, bro? Like, like, how's you, that okay, not sound the same? Look, you you just a, said the same there's shit. There's an interview going on, and this is somebody that's outside, uh, and they go to Chirac or they go to you feel me wherever to ask them questions. They're gonna get the runaround, right? They're mm-hmm. not gonna give them real address. But if I'm your if if I'm your close cousin that live in a suburb, and I'm like, yo, I'm having a, a conversation, like, why y'all why y'all be doing what y'all be doing? Do you think he gonna give you the one or if, he gonna give you the answer bro, or why? Bro, because some, but I'm gonna you give assessing a, this like a metropolitan no, suburban nigga. Like I'm gonna you be ain't honest. Got an it sounds like you don't got an answer. <laughs> that's what we come. Oh that's how God, we look at it. Half of the shit, nigga. And it's crazy, nigga. So when I tell, so when I tell you, a lot of times, I'm gonna keep it bucket with you. A lot of times, when when, when pe- some people that are doing what they're doing, they don't know that they're doing what they're Yo, doing. Yo, they let's not explanation. try to give. Let's I not mean, try to give. That's the explanation. Bro, that's the explanation. <laughs> chill out, bro. <laughs> let's not try to do this metropolitan suburban shit when oh, you're talking man. about literally rap shit and street shit. You niggas just literally told me that it was a, it was something different, and it's the same shit. You just talked about the same shit. If I say something about, yo, I don't give a fuck about where you from, how is that not the same from saying, nigga, you're dumb as hell for not wanting to snitch on a nigga when that, when you're, when you're so and so just got murdered? That's what I'm saying. How is that not the same conversation? So what I'm saying, so, okay, this, I'm going a, I'm to a come up with the explanation from what you're saying, right? If I say, why does asking someone, or no, why does the answer of where you from, being this super specific of what side someone's from, mean something because you said oh you see who where they from you see where they who they be with all that stuff right in the street <laughs> you ask that question so you assess who they be with so if you ask that question then right. now you okay. know so you how niggas, to so, interact so with the person like I just you're said, talking with so like i just said right now when you niggas asked that question and he was trying to go in deep, he said politics, all this shit. I said, nigga, that's your job to figure that shit out. I gave you the answer. Nigga, if that's one aspect of the conversation and there's other aspects on it, nigga, that's your job to figure that out. That's not my job to tell niggas. Yo, you talk about who you be with, niggas from the streets. Nigga, if, if who you be with is the same as telling niggas that's politics, nigga, what are we talking about, nigga? What are you talking about, nigga? You got to figure out who you be with, nigga. Like, yes, do you be with these niggas? Because if I'm with you, then that's I'm with somebody else. I'm with someone else. But that's not rap politics. That's street politics. So what's so it's rap like, politics? Rap politics and street politics are damn near for them to be the same thing nowadays. But you just made it seem like it was two different things. No, they are two different things. <laughs> they are two different things. I'm saying the streets and, the, and rap is so combined today that you got to do the same shit. So you gotta, you gotta asking ask someone the where they from is is assessing the, those that question. Is assessing the street politics of it. Yes. Yes. So as a rapper, if you ask someone else where are they from and they tell you a specific side, you're making that assessment in that question. Yes. So... In the in the overall aspect of it, the only reason why people ask that question or the only reason why the answer matters is to address that question. Because the streets and rap is now right. But, I, but what I'm saying it, what I'm saying is, in reality, in reality, from my overall my beginning point is that question. The answer to the question really does not mean anything because True. the answer the answer is the same to everybody. Point blank period. What? From my, from my. Of course, uh, it would be if you're from the metropolitan no, or suburban area. No, 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 no. If I say, if I say I'm from the north side, I, I say I'm from the south side. As a rapper, if or I or say, as a if I say I'm from Chicago, as a rapper or a civilian, you know what? You know what? I, you know what? Someone hears every side. No, that's cap. I'm telling you right now, bro. I just told you. I'm the telling only... you right now. I'm telling you right now. As niggas a, be capping, bro. As a rapper niggas or a capping, civilian, bro. bro. No, you, no. You I'm talking about me I'm as talking a civilian. Like, I'm talking music industry niggas be capping. 
I'm talking about real life niggas be capping. Bro, them, bro. I'm talking about I'm talking about rappers be capping, bro. Dude, All you, point blank period. You, Everybody says everything to play up into the the. the the mystique, and I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at what it. I'm just saying. What are we talking about? Right I'm now? just saying. Nigga, I'm you saying. went from talking about the actual gist of the shit to saying fuck everybody. You niggas is all capping ass niggas. Yo, this is just some civilian ass talk right now. Like, what the fuck are we talking about, bro? It's not, bro. It's nigga, to bro. say that everybody in this bitch is capping is literally cap. No, it's not. Of course, that's some civilian ass thought process. That's all I'm saying. Do you, guys think, do you guys think it's a game? Of course, it's a fucking game. No, I'm saying. I'm saying. Like, the information that you choose to to consume is a game within the, the realms of rapper street shit. Like, is Bro, that a game? Like, I give you an example, right? Because oh, okay, everybody's okay. so capped, right? Oh, okay, go ahead. Give you an example. Shy Blizzy. Do you still listen to him? Oh, Do you still listen to him? I've never listened to him. I've never listened to him. You heard White Girl. I've only listened to him because Shorty was in the video. No, that's cap, bro. That was the first time I've that's been cap. You telling me? You telling me back in 2011, 2012, he wasn't playing. No, Shy I mean, Blizzy? No, Nigga, if he I wasn't on the song that. with uh, what's his name? That's what he's saying right now. He's going crazy right now. He's saying that shit. I'm not. I'm not willingly. Distance, I'm not, distance, I'm not, distance I'm not willingly, yourself. What's the song from Shy Blizzy? Other than that white girl song, I don't know. He was on the song with uh, the black dude with the nose ring. I don't know. You talking about some? He talking about crew? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Talking about the song Crew. That's the only thing I know, bro. Go Link? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go Link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, that shit is new as hell. We not talking no, that's about. That's not new as hell. What? That's not new. The song with Go Link? That's not new. That's not, that's not, not prime Shy Glizzy, bro. What's, what's new? That's that's what's re- new? that's that okay, shit. So re- that shit resurrected his career song from prime Shy Glizzy, bro. I don't remember all that shit, bro. Nigga, that's like telling me to. That's like telling me to to say five uh, five low key like uh cheap key like songs five, from when he first started. Huh? This song is like five, six years old. No, it's not. It's not five, six years old. Crew? Yeah, it's not five, yes, six years old. Yes, it is, bro. Bro, look at that. That came out like 2016, 2017. You lying. 2018. Crew. Gold Link. Bro, that shit, that shit was the first That's song to go. years ago. 2016. Shy Glizzy came out 2011, 2012. His start, his, his hits. I mean, you clearly just searched up, so search up Shy Glizzy. Oh. I'm saying his hits came from 2011, 2012. But what I'm saying, okay, go to say your point. I'm saying that, I'm saying, so, this is why I'm saying this shit matters, right? To rap niggas, and not everyone is cap. Shy Blizzy, when he first started rapping, he was, he was reportedly supposed to be with CMG. Do you know about this? Continue. With Yo Gotti? I don't know. Alright, so basically, he's supposed to be with Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti's taking him on tour. This is when Shy Clizzy was just, he's having his breakout hits. He's the first nigga from Philly. He's coming out the same time as Keith. Then he's going in, and then the nigga Meek Mill sees him. And mind you, they, this is the, the, all these niggas in the streets right now. Meek Mill sees him. He puts him, in his, he puts him on game. He says, nigga, you from Philly. You supposed to be doing this, this, and this. Matter of fact, let me sign you. Whole time, he's already been around these Memphis niggas. He's already been around CMG. He's already been early Yo Gotti. So then he books, he's booking his shows. He's doing his little tours. This by himself after he just did all this credibility from Yo Gotti. Then he takes that. He takes a tour in Memphis. Memphis niggas, they end up, he doesn't know who these niggas is. They tell these niggas he's supposed to figure out. They want to tap in with him. He like, why the fuck should I tap in with you? Who is you niggas? Who do y'all be with? Who, like, what, how should I know you rap niggas? This, this, this. So he didn't give a fuck about that shit. So he went. He went to a show. He ended up losing his chain. They ended up taking the chain. The nigga, you know who whose niggas those was? Them niggas was with Black Youngster. That was that was Black Youngsters people. So because he didn't tap in, because he didn't give a fuck about who he, who niggas be with, he ended up losing his chain. When Black Youngster got that chain, he put it on camera that he got that bitch back with Yo Gotti's blessing and all this shit. Then that shit ended up trans all all his Shy Glizzy's fame, all Shy Glizzy's attention ended up transferring to Black Youngster, and that's when Black Youngster rose to fame. That's why niggas don't know much about Shy Glizzy. That's why he faded out of existence. So what I'm trying to say is, to rap niggas, it matters. To civilians, it don't matter because if you want, if you don't care about that shit as a rap nigga, you end up in situations like Shy Glizzy. You could be the you could be the streetest nigga. You could be tapped so, in all that so, shit, so but you're gonna point, end up in situations like that. So to my point is, I guess yeah. If if rapper to rapper is talking about to each other, say, where are you from? And then someone says, I'm from the south side of Chicago. 
it's like, okay, yeah, so you must know the people that I know from the south side of Chicago. Hey, point blank, period. That's it. I'm just saying. Also, so what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is nothing is wrong with that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that overall, it outside of that that scenario that you literally just talked about, niggas don't care. That's what I'm saying. Who's don't care? Listen to what I said. <laughs> Listen to what I said. You said niggas outside, don't care. Outside of the scenario that you just said, uh huh. Niggas do not care. Who is these niggas? I'm talking about humans. Who is these humans? Everybody. Civilians. Metropolitan, suburban, day walkers. Of the people outside of the situation that you just claimed, and I'm really holding my tongue from saying something about <laughs> niggas, but. <laughs> I'm just letting niggas know right now, bro. Like, that shit really matters because although we talking about rap shit, I just gave you a street. That was a street story. Like, that's that's a street shit. But I'm saying, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if it's not street, then it does not matter. Majority, and and, and this is the thing, too, right? So, niggas is having this conversation about rap versus street in my head. Because after Keith, rap and street became the same thing. Before Keith, it was rap and the streets. After Keith... It's just not. It's that's why you gotta have. That's why you got That's why these things matter to rappers. So, so doing the Tupac and Diddy area, that was two different things. Bro, I, don't think it's, it's it's that area. I don't think you count. Because I mean, I was really about to say what he just said, but if you're talking about the era of hip hop, okay, like after right. Kanye Fifty, no, 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 into no. Keith, then no. yeah, that street no, shit no, did no, not matter. Nah, bro. All right, let me let me. All right, what what game was Biggie part of? I don't know the facts. I just what? Remember, How I was he remember, banging? I just remember Man, that nigga Tupac dissed the whole industry. That shit was West versus East. That shit was West versus East. I know, but who was banging? Huh? Tupac or Biggie? I don't know. Yeah, I mean... You don't know because, nigga, the, we not talking about the... I'm telling you right now. So rap West. and streets has is, is always been separated. They've never been the same thing. Niggas is shooting at the police, nigga. You know yeah, the niggas but, that are cold and ratchet. But... What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but with the Tupac and Biggie, it was. You know the, them niggas sad It was West, West Side versus East. That's not that nigga. I mean, West Coast versus East. Nigga, Coast. Biggie and Pac was mascots, nigga. They mascots for the streets, nigga. They not the street niggas. They the niggas. They the niggas that go to the studio. They been around all these street niggas. Ice Cube, Biggie, all these niggas. P Diddy, all the niggas, bro. They niggas has been around the street niggas. They go into the studio. They rap about what their friends did. They rap about what their friends saw. They rap about the stories that they've been told. Nigga, they not doing the shit. They not committing the crimes. Biggie and Pop getting shot was some whole deeper shit. So what than about them. what about the game in Fifty? The game in Fifty. Them Damn. niggas wasn't. Them niggas was beefing as rappers. No, what I'm saying is them was niggas was beefing niggas. as rappers. That was street niggas that turned into rappers. Nigga, they was street niggas, but they wasn't talking, bro. They wasn't talking about niggas' ops in the songs, bro. They wasn't in this bitch shooting at each other and then going to do a diss track and then taking one of theirs and then come taking one of theirs. These niggas is from opposite sides and they they literally rapping about shit because of Biggie and Pop. What the fuck are we talking about? So what about Gucci and uh? Iceman. Bro, that shit, that shit wasn't, nigga, Gucci wasn't even out here like that, bro. Like, that's the real story, bro. That's the real story, bro. Sound like giving two KO examples to me. I'm trying to tell you, nigga. You you talking about, like, Gucci and Waka? Nah, nigga, I'm talking about Gucci and... I don't even know who Iceman is. Jeezy. I don't even know, I don't even know nothing about that. Shorty Low? Put that boy in the door. (laughs) <laughs> you talking about Pookie Love? Put that boy in the dirt. Pookie Love? I mean, shit. That's all about the bullshit. Pookie Love? I nigga. guess. Hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. Hey, I'm hey, trying to tell niggas, on. bro. I'm trying to tell niggas, bro. Nigga. The nigga just said Pookie hey. Love. What the fuck is he really talking about? Nigga, that's his name. I know. Exactly. But I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is we talking Civilian about? Civilian cam. Civilian cam. Civilian cam. Civilian cam. Civilian cam. Hey, can you put an effect on that when y'all went going there and then like put like something? I got how be in the uh, how be on like that uh, in the stadiums and shit. Mm -hmm. Civilian cam. Yo, I'm trying to tell niggas, bro. There was no, there was, bro. Until Keith and them came around, bro. Niggas did not tell Nick, Nick, bro. Keith 
de Keith decoded the blueprint on how to put the streets in music, bro. These niggas wasn't talking about shit, bro. These niggas wasn't talking about shit, bro. At all, bro. Game 50 Cent, what the fuck was they talking about, nigga? You just know they got, they got fucking beef. And they in songs, taking little shots. Nigga, I, niggas is putting junk, niggas put Suka in a song, nigga. What the fuck we talking about, nigga? That's violent as fuck. Niggas ain't never put nobody in the song, bro. Hey, I'm not no hip-hop historian. I just know general things about hip-hop. So, they probably got their own versions of Tuka. I don't, I don't no, know. No, they don't, don't bro. Know. They I'm don't, bro. These listening. niggas literally said hip-hop was never this dangerous. I'm the niggas you talking about literally said hip-hop was never this if, dangerous. If Biggie and Tupac died... <laughs> they didn't kill each other, though. Who did? The niggas around them. <laughs> What the fuck? If you don't get it, you don't get it. King Von murdered Duck. Nigga, what the fuck we talking about? I'm two rappers, nigga. If you don't get it. If you don't get it. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. What you talking about, bro? What the fuck is we talking about? Civilian cam. Hey, nah, that's not bad, bro. Put the civilian cam there. Because this is wild. This is wild. Look at civilian cam. Like, think about it, bro. Niggas, niggas talking about names, they, dropping names and shit. And niggas, it's like, public record, bro. It's public record. Bro, they murdered that nigga on fucking, on, on like Gold crazy. Coast, bro. <laughs> they put that man in the dirt on Gold Coast, so, bro, where it's so gun jam. Von put did. 100K on his head. Honey yeah, pack. We can change Honey topics. bun. <laughs> we can change topics. Like, bro, what are you <laughs> talking about? Talk about? All right, bro. Check this what? out. It's check like, this out, bro. It's like, okay. Like, you want to change topics or you want to stay on the topic? Because I can go. Von did it himself? No, he put a honey pack on him. What does that mean? Put a honey bun on his head. What does that mean? He put money on his head. What does that mean? He got him killed. What does that mean? Von <laughs> is the reason FBG Duck got murdered. What does that mean? Because he, he had his niggas attack him? BDs and GDs? Nigga, Von, Von would have killed him himself. Okay. Von got 10 bodies. We can change topics. I don't want to talk about this <laughs> shit no more. <laughs> Look, bro, Von would have killed himself. Von, Von, without, Von, without being next to Dirk, he would have. Come on now. I don't want to talk about this no more. Come on now. Anyways. Anyways. Normalizing crazy shit is crazy. But. Civilian camp. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Anyways, bro. Check it out. I know y'all seen uh, House Phone get exposed on No Jumper. I have something to say about this, but I don't know what they're talking about. Alright, so basically, I'm going to make it real quick. Because if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm about to make it really, really quick. So, House Phone is the black guy. I don't know who he is. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm just saying, you, like, know, you never know. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> you could have thought it was Hakeem. You, know I mean? you never know. I'm just saying, if you didn't know, I'm telling you. Damn. So, basically, uh, there was a transgender woman on the uh sledge lords which is basically and she exposed house phone for trying to hook adam up 22's podcast for his personal to... podcast but so... that's in a that's in a no jumper realm and so he has another <laughs> host he has another host so named danny mullen shut up yeah, he has another host well, named danny him. mullen and they both were talking to this that they got an hour two hour long shit she keep exposing yeah i i did this this and this with house phone he like cut this out cut this out cut this out cut this out at the end of the video, the the video, the clip that goes viral is this this fucking transgender woman talking about uh, what she did, and then uh, uh, Adam Twenty Two's host goes, uh, "Sorry, we need the ratings." <laughs> House phone, and then they forgot to edit that clip out, and then the video touched the web, and it went viral, and House phone got exposed for uh, do experimenting with a transgender, and then he went on his own disconnected podcast and owned up to it. So basically, what he says he ain't do nothing crazy with Shorty. We don't know what he did. He didn't tell us. I mean, he he alluded to saying he got experimental. That's exactly yeah. That's what all he. Said. That's all he said. But this is my thing, right? <laughs> these, these are. Yeah, I was hoping y'all can't hear me. Fucking this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that's wild. But eh. but look, okay. So this this is this is a couple of things, Need right? Ratings. <laughs> this is a couple of things, right? Yeah. Is one. Uh, people is saying like uh, House Phone girlfriend saying that they should have cut the entire part of where she name dropping them so much. She said House Phone girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she had she she was responding to the fact that you know he got exposed on No uh, Jumper Network. Come on, make it meaning quick. that Adam. So 
<laughs> Adam should have cut that entire section out of the interview. Point That's point. not what they said though. They said that they should have. They should have just not did the interview. No, no, no. They should have not did the interview because she was talking reckless. But to Adam's point, I, I don't know Shorty going to talk reckless. They said that she was in the comments saying, I'm going to talk right, reckless right, right. about your boy on the shit. But, but what I'm saying I is... get to the, the main point. The mo- so basically I'm saying is, the moment she started name chopping them, should have cut it all out to the very end. Then, but as a... If you're talking about the shit, it don't make sense to just put out half an episode. So, but basically, what I'm also saying is... uh. Yeah, that shit's weird. But niggas saying it went viral, niggas saying it went crazy. When in reality, I think it's kind of just the no jumper hemisphere is really talking about it. Nobody else talking about it. Mm-hmm. And that's the Academics thing. Academics covered it with 20,000 people. In the yeah, room. but what I'm saying is like, that's the whole thing of like, because you look here and see it, does not mean it's true on the other side. You well, we mean? talking all right. We talking about viral in the hip hop community. But what I'm saying, but I, I don't say I'm not. I don't think it's viral in the hip hop community. I think it's viral in the little jumper, and that umbrella is covering the hip hop community. Come on, man. Because who else is talking about it besides academics? Academics. Bro, everybody. Everybody is still talking about Blueface. Like, bro, everybody already talked about it, bro. Who For talked that, about it? Huh? Who talked about it? I'm not talking about a specific person. I'm saying the two biggest media outlets covered this shit. You think that people in the hip hop community, you think it's just fans? Yes. You think so? You telling me, bro? Like, how strong is a rapper or two at the end of the day? And he's a brand yeah, owner. Yeah. The same he's a shit brand that, owner, the same bro. Shit that happened to pocket. Isaiah Rashad. Nobody give a fuck, bro. You capping, bro? No. You in capping, reality, bro. nobody give a fuck. House phone, bro, bro, bro. Oh, okay, oh, no, no, House phone and no, Isaiah Rashad. Nigga, Isaiah Rashad, shock niggas. He not relevant. House I mean, Phone is album. relevant. He dropped an album at that time. Dude, who the fuck is listening to Isaiah Rashad, bro? Exactly my point. Niggas pay attention to House Phone. He has a clothing brand. He's still in other pockets. Nigga, this nigga is very nigga, relevant, bro. Nigga, nigga. Yeah. Is Isaiah my line? Rashad and House Phone is the equivalent of relevant. Am I lying? Right? You don't know much about that House Phone? Nigga, I, know, I know, but I'm saying... That's what that I'm saying. That nigga is equivalent of relevancy. What? But no, they're not. And bro. niggas talked about Isaiah way more than niggas talked about. Nigga, niggas, niggas. But anyway, this is my final niggas point. Niggas talked about the person that was around Kendrick Lamar. This is my final point. This is my final point because it kind of goes into the same thing that I was talking about. Is I, I was watching the No Jumper News and then they was basically talking about. Um, they, they say this a lot when something crazy happens in No Jumper. They're like, yeah, I like people back home are hitting me up. Relax, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <He> really? <laughs> it, they, they say this a lot. They're like, people back home is hitting me up, asking me questions about this, and I got to make shit, shit, make sure shit's straight. I think that really is either L.A. culture or niggas care about what niggas think way too much. And the reason I say that is because maybe due to this relationship is like this, right? I'm trying to come up with a, a, a thing that's not that's believable but not crazy. You feel me? <laughs> I can't. I can't. Anything is crazy as fuck. Anything is crazy as fuck. In the aspect I'm saying, like, let's say let's say niggas had an imaginary brother named. named Don't make it personal. Bro. Na- named Daryl. No, listen, listen. Niggas had an imaginary brother named Daryl, and niggas said that nigga did something with a transgender, right? I believe his name is Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> And the, and then that nigga got exposed on a news show, right? Would we be like, hey, bro, what, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? What the fuck? You no, because saying? I believe it. His name is Daryl. No, <laughs> my point is, my about point about is, about. like, why do you care? You get what I'm saying? So what I'm about saying, from family standpoint? From family standpoint. So what I'm saying, when the people bro, let me ask you are question. saying, let me ask you oh, question. my people is calling me saying what's going on. Let me ask you a question. It's like, and I got to, and I got to come on air and air it out because... The people, I got to make sure to let the people at home know that I'm good. I guess what I'm saying is like, what are you really doing it for? If that, if you understand. All right, make your point saying. before I even ask you a question. That's what I just said. That's what I just said. That's it. That was a long hell of a story, my boy. Um, you say, why would they, like, is this real? Is it cap? Is that basically what you're saying? Like, why do people care that much? Or is that what no, you're I, I guess what I'm saying is like, every time something happened on No Jumper, then the, and the host talk about it. They, the main thing they say is people hitting my line saying 
people hitting my line checking in on me. But they're only talking about, bro, you, first of all, I want to let you know that the people that they're talking about are referencing the reaction that they get from whatever leak of whatever happens. So it's not just like something where it's like, man, this is something so small we could brush off. No, like these niggas over heighten the situation, over develop the situation to the point where it can get to family. Because it's literally a the whatever happens on the show is literally viral clips about the damn show. It's no jumper virality for that week. So yes, somebody who cares about this shit, who's around them, can be like, "Hey, this your family member? Hey, you you should probably tap in with him. What's this? I never even knew about this. Oh, I didn't even know he did this. Oh, damn. Wait, let me call him. Now that now somebody that that wasn't tapped into the shit is tapped into the shit because it's that viral. So when niggas are saying. Oh, uh, it's Cap, or you feel me? Like, why do they care? Because it's like legitimately actually getting out. Now, let me ask you a question: Do you think? Do you still feel the same way about Cap when he said my mother and my sister are calling me? Okay, no, yeah, questions. I was literally thinking about that too, right? The difference is how's their difference? Okay, now okay, this is what based on what I'm saying, right? The story, the story is out, right? And then the family calls the person that's relevant to the story. <laughs> Fuck. Um, so I guess basically what I'm saying is like that. What I deem that phone call should be is, yo, I'm hearing this. What What's the word? I want you to tell me what it is first. Or I want you to tell me what I believe. Tell me the honesty. Let me of ask what's you a follow up. Right? Do you have a very good concept of family, bro? Do you know how that works? No, 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 listen, listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, that was a great episode. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I, you know what's so it's funny is, um, it's like this, right? My, I guess what, I guess like, the point that you always say, like, when we have discussions a lot, is my perspective is not other people's perspective. And, and I can give, <laughs> I can, I can like, acknowledge that. Because if, if, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. That's pretty much it. Are we we wrap, wrapping it up? I, I mean, so. unless you got a short, what are we going? Oh, a short one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, All right. Uh, Basically, just we can really talk about it because we brought it up. But uh, did you guys see the viral clip of uh, Krishan and Blueface at the interview? Nope. Getting kicked out? Yeah, no. Did you see the actual her getting kicked out? Uh, I watched it on because I saw your, your video on it. Oh, uh, okay. What 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 you think about that though? Like it, it's some like she's mental, busted, chopped, screwed. Like I don't wanna lie, bro. After that interview, right? She she literally says I'm pregnant with blue faced kid, and then she's on the carpet and she smacks the shit out of a fucking uh, former stylist. After she hits the former stylist later on that day, it's blue faced b- birthday. She goes to Blueface crib. She sees a video of this man, uh, Blueface, getting twerked on, looking like ASAP Rocky inside of a crowd. With a meme, you know, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. Blueface is looking like that. She goes to the crib. She picks a fight and she beats up two girls. Bro, they said Blueface is the problem. Do you believe that? No. Yes. No. Yes. What what pill do you need? <laughs> I got a doctor for you. Huh? I, got, I got a doctor for you. Nigga, fuck a blue pill, nigga. First of all, I've seen relationships like those. And I feel like at the end of the day, you have all the power to separate. To How did she get in the house? We talking about the same girl that broke into Blueface house, cut a white, cut herself with glass, and then literally wrote on the walls in blood? <laughs> Bro, didn't we just have did in the beginning of Blueface's career? Did we just have the same thing with his BL or something? No, nah, it was never to this uh, level. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. It was never. It was never to, this, was level. Never to this level. But nah. she was on. A, she was. She was on. She was trying to like, break in and this that, and the third. No, oh, no, that, that wasn't. Okay. That wasn't Blueface. That wasn't Blueface BM. That was Christian Rock. No, 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 it wasn't. Bro. Yes, it was, bro. Blueface BM never did none of that shit, bro. Bro, she never did none of that shit. I think yeah, it was like some random girl. It was, was it, you to. feel me? Yeah, it was some. Yeah. Uh, it was some. some but okay, that, no. But, but this like, is what I'm saying again. Okay, go ahead. What so up? I'm saying I'm like I can say he can he has all. How is Blueface the problem though? 
Bro, if, remove yourself. If, if if you look at it as Blueface is not a manipulative, manipulative person, but he played with Shorty's emotions, I'll take that. But what, what are you talking about, is, bro? These, you just these women no. react the way Check they it out, bro. choose to react. Check it out, bro. Any girl, yeah, crazy. any girl reacting as strong as blue as Christian on Rock is doing something dirty in the background that is guilt is eating her up. Let's not act like these hoes ain't loyal, nigga. Let's not I'm act like these hoes, that. bro. Okay, you, you talking you about you know these toxic relationships? That's, you seen this shit, so, bro? Talking about what? It doesn't work that simple. It doesn't work that simple. Blueface said that Krishan cheated on him, and that's the baby's father. But he also said that she'd been with many men and all this shit. If if a shorty is that no, if a shorty is that crazy over you, I don't see it. What are you talking about, bro? A girl go. Is she acting like that towards Blueface, nigga? And you saying is she bro, cheated on Blueface? Nigga, girls will do anything in the world nah, to accept I mean, to to disrupt accountability. You can't sit here and tell me Blueface is the problem because he ain't leave. What if he tried? No. There's what no, if he tried? Just tried? First of all, there should be never be there should never be an instance where they back in the same room. Bro, it's not. It doesn't work that way, bro. I mean, I don't think it's going to be easy for them to separate. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. But I can't say it. If he's going to end ties, then he got to end ties, point blank. He got to end ties, but he'll not end ties. You say he don't know how to? He don't know how to. But I'm saying, nigga. But I'm saying, nigga. talking about? You talking like a nigga that ain't never been in no shit. Nigga. Have you you been in some shit? I've, I've seen. I've you seen, been in some shit. Yes, I've seen. Been, you me, acting crazy. Yeah, I've seen. So, how did you separate? How did you separate? I moved to another state. You moved. To... <laughs> no, I'm just capping. Like I'm just capping, but I'm saying I'm 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 just capping what would you for the do? camera. What would you do? But what I'm would saying, you do in that instance, though? I'm saying, bro. Like you can't, like bro. At the end of the day, bro, you don't be knowing where these motherfuckers be going, bro. It's hella. It's hella shit. Why these niggas be with each other. But I'm letting niggas know right now, bro. The reason why Kershawn act the way she act is because she doing shit on the low. And that shit is eating her the fuck up. That's I'm just cool. talking about her actions. I'm That's not talking cool. about whether or not her and Blueface are destructive. I don't give a fuck for that conversation. I'm not about to entertain it. I don't need a blue pill, nigga. I don't need a blue pill. Who's... Who's fault? Simple who, question. Who's fault is it? Yeah, my nigga. Who's I asked you. I said. I said. Who's tweaking? You just came in with the fucking blue pill. Was not both of them are tweaking. Okay, I, 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 I said that. But we already I know she's that. tweaking. I said that. But I say, say, but I say it's his fault because See, as I, a man, nah, man, bro, respectfully, no, move around. That shit. No, I was saying both of them. As a man, nigga, we in twenty twenty three. Women got you know it's you know it's I'm okay. That's cap. In our in a relationship like that, bro, I've seen too many of those type of relationships and Emma's be tweaking because as a man, if you if first of all, let's get it straight. Emma's be crazy because of sex. Period. Two two, she tweaking, and we all know she crazy. He tweaking because she crazy, but he nah. keep going back to her crazy. No, 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 no. We, we go, had go, this conversation. Go real quick, I'm gonna put you on some red pill game. Okay, and then yeah. we can we can close it. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, the conversation we had recently, right? She gave this man a black eye. At that moment, not only you black eye, she threw glass at it. That was eyes. after the she hit you. She gave you a black eye, and you Two kept eyes. her around so that she could hit you with a glass cup. You're right. crazy. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Here's what I So here's, give me my red pill game. Red pill game. It's red pill game, bro. It's red pill game, bro. Anytime you in a relationship with a woman and you start to see her actions start to deviate towards the crazy side and she is not confirmed pregnant, she is cheating on you. And that's my that's my school of thought. Um nine times out of ten, uh girls got it the worst when it comes to guilt. Why? Because in order for a woman to cheat, they actually got to be somewhat in love with the nigga they cheated on. For a guy to cheat, that's just some shit that was just happening at the end of the night. Let's be honest. So that guilt is not in the guy because he's not thinking about it. The minute it's over, the minute he leaves, the minute he's back in bed with the one. You feel me? This girl is in a bed with the one, still, still verbally 
still still processing how did she even come to this realization. She turn, tossing and turning over at night, looking at your ass while you sleep. Like, I don't even love this nigga the same way anymore. I'm just letting you know, bro. The guilt is eating up women 10 times harder. But here's the thing. Equality. Women want equality, but can't even do things equally. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. Bro, Here's the thing. I feel what you're Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you want a red pill in life, you're going to choose a red pill. If you want a blue pill in life, you're going to choose a blue pill. And if you're going to play stupid to women, that's all I got to say. Bro, like right. that, uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, what you just said, like nobody's over here saying, oh, we're not, we're not, miss, we're not, un- not hearing you. The fact is, if she's wild and women do wild things when a guy is, is attached to her. But at the end of the day, I just feel like you have, you have every responsibility to move around. So I will say to justify the only reason he is coming back to her. Well, she's mid. Also, she got his face ta- tattooed. That don't mean shit. She's, she's mid. So this word, this and and I gotta tell you this. You said it don't mean shit, but that's very manipulative of a girl to go get a tattoo of somebody multiple places. Yeah, that's your decision, not mine. It's it's psychologically, bro. Men and women do things psychologically to each other that produce certain chemicals in their brain that will fire off. You not knowing, you not being aware. When she's doing that, bro, she's manipulating you. If a shorty got my face or name tatted on her, I like that. Cool. A shorty that you rock with, a shorty that you rock with, she and doesn't she want. Hit me? Huh? And, and she, she hit me. It's a dog. Keep my face on your. Yo, body. have you ever? Have you ever listened? <laughs> have you ever listened to the way that she talked to him? She will live, and even in the interview, she called. She said, "Nigga, if you got me a bitch, I'll call you a bitch too." Daddy, why you da-? pause? Daddy, why you pause? <laughs> you know me? <laughs> All right, like, right, 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 right. <laughs> You got bitch <laughs> shit, bro. I'm going. <laughs> uh, nah, big pause, man. Uh, ain't no house phones in this hole. You feel me? Too early? Right. <laughs> <Yeah, I'm just laughs> hey, nah, don't do that. Hey, hey, I'm just check saying, it out, bro. bro. Check it out, bro. Y'all gonna let me have that house phone <laughs> joke, bro. I don't give a damn. Nah, I, I'm not really on that with house phone. It's 2023, man. It's a progressive era, bro. House phone, you mess with whoever, whatever uh, man or woman you want to mess with. Sword fight all day long, bro. We do not care. Anyways. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? I think it's crazy, bro. <laughs> hey, yo! Hey, 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 come on, Anyways, bro. hey, yo, this was another episode. Hey, look, look, big A, yo. This was another episode of Slime World Podcast. I'm Lil Boy Rock. I'm Anonymous. <laughs> what you... All right, no, no, real quick, real quick, real quick. Before we end, before we end. Yo, you think that's some real cancelable shit? No, oh, nigga. That's just funny. Very, that's that's just, just funny. What part? You just said sword fight, nigga. That shit, honestly. Oh, this- <laughs> you look so All right. Bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. But let me not even play it around because dude just went through hella trauma and stuff like that. So bro, let, me, okay. let, me, let, me, let, me, let me stop the jokes. Let me stop the jokes, okay? All right, now we can probably end. Let's, let's end the right way because that sword fight shit was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. <laughs> what? Bro, at the no, show. Wait, all right, come on, man. All right, look. Yo. <laughs> hey, this was that episode of Slime World Podcast. I'm Lil Boy Rock. I'm anonymous. I'm solo. I'm solo. I'm I'm redacted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are, are you oh you guys are trying to mimic no jumper? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> um cause cause but who's house phone? <laughs> and that was another episode. <laughs> Hey, yo, this this conversation was, of course, out this world. Let's go. I will miss the fuck these friends. All the rats going to make a dance. Sipping on a walk, I'm in a train. Sipping on a walk, I don't need friends. Popping up, perk, 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 perk. Trap, I'm going to church, church, church. I'm on a block with a work, work, work. Play with me, won't work, work, work.